Hello and welcome with another video today. I have selected a very short and a interesting topic for some beginner level students. Now, how addition reactions goes on with the halogens that is with the cars, the bromine and with cars with chlorine to alkynes. This is our topic today. Now, alkynes, for example, alkynes, simplest example is acetylene. So, it, they present almost similar reactions. They present almost similar similar reactions similar reactions referring to what referring to or when they are dealing with these halogens like chlorine bromine okay when they are especially with the halogens like chlorine and bromine when we are referring to these two only towards what course towards alkenes now they goes on with addition reaction what type of reactions they goes on they goes on with the addition reactions addition i hope everyone know what is an addition reaction in my other video i can explain you what is an addition reaction it's a very simplest reaction of organic chemistry so this addition with alkynes is possible for once or for two times this addition is only this addition is possible for for one time once or two times two times or you can say twice once or once or twice as why because it depends on the molar equivalence of these chlorine and bromine we will be using why it is happening that why is it so that they can be used for one time or two times but because uh, this only uh, I mean um, it uh, rely on the molar equivalence now what is a molar equivalent I hope no you people know what is a molar equivalence of chlorine and bromine which we are going to use So now, as I was just mentioned you mentioned it to you that this addition with all kinds is possible for once or for two times. And why is it happening? So many question marks. Because it just depends on the molar equivalence of these two halogens, that is chlorine and bromine. Not the halogens we are using. But right now we are talking about we are referring to chlorine bromine. So uh, chlorine and bromine used. Uh, so. Now we'll give you a show you an example for that so that would be more easier for you to follow so now acetylene in the presence of two moles of bromine and of course carbon tetrachloride carbon tetrachloride it's gonna give us carbon-carbon double bondings would take place and you are going to get a dibromo product what you are going to call it of course you will call it dibromo alkene simply dibromo alkene and on further Reacting it again with two molecules and with carbon tetrachloride, what you are going to get two bromine atoms and a chlorine and a carbon tetrachloride, what you are going to get 
a tetra bromo alkene what it would be like a tetra bromo alkene would be simple tetra means four bromine atoms are there so we are and we are so this is would be the product that is tetra bromo alkene tetra bromo alkene formation would take place this is simple a reaction when you're going to react an acetal in the presence of these uh, bromine um, and carbon tetrachloride you are going to get a dibromo alkene and further on further reacting it with them you are going to get a tetrabromo alkene now similar is the case with the chlorine atom when you are going to do deal it with the chlorine atom this similar case is going to be there i'll show you how so similar is the case when we are dealing with a chlorine atom that is and again acetylene when you're going to react it with chlorine atoms what you will get and carbon tetrachloride carbon tetrachloride what you are going to get of course c double bonds and alkene formation would be there again chlorine atoms on these two opposite sides and the product would be again a dichloroalkene a dichloroalkene alkene and again for further reacting it with chlorine and carbon tetrachloride what you are going to get a tetrachloroalkene that is just as we have done before chlorine with four atoms four, four alkene with four chlorine atoms so a tetrachloroalkene would be there tetrachloroalkene this is this one would be formed so now if one molar equivalent of halogen is added a dihaloalkane would be formed if you will be adding a one mole one mole one molar equivalent equivalent of a halogen is added what you are going to get you will get a dihalo alkene that is that you have seen okay so now most trans trans means on the opposite sides atoms that are attached on the atom opposite sides trans di hello alkenes are formed due to what due to anti additions anti additions due to the anti additions of these chlorine and bromine to alkynes this is how we can conclude it right um for example a carboxylic group right a carboxylic group and attached to this acetylene over here uh you in the presence of again to bromine and bromine you are going to get what so i just have uh, drawn what this compound is called acetylene dicarboxylic acid you can see the dicarboxylic acid with an acetylene group in the between so what you are going to get in the presence of again a bromine um dibromine atoms what you are going to get you will 
simply get carbon with a double bond and of course bromine atoms on the opposite sides and what of course the carboxylic group would be again on the opposite side so what the yield would be of 70% yield you are going to get when you are going to react it in this way so this was simply how when most of these trans dihaloalkanes are formed they are due to the anti addition of chlorine and bromine to alkynes and now this was the reaction which explained it that the acetylene dicarboxylic acid it reacts in the presence of this bromine it will going to get you give you this product which is 70% uh, which is providing us a 70% yield so i hope uh, you like this short uh, video of lecture or regarding how uh, what will happen when how addition reactions goes on with the bromine and chlorines to alkynes when bromine and add, uh, chlorines are added to alkynes so i explained you all these with the help of little examples simple very simple reactions and i hope you will like this video and you will give it a thumbs up and you will like it so hope to see you again with something new something more interesting and exciting so See you again. Thank you very much.